Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming another haul video. I'm, I swear I've gone like nuts finding all this new stuff and stuff that I want or need and all that stuff. So anyway, I have two bags full of stuff. One is from Walmart, one is from Ulta. The one of the Walmart bags has stuff from Amazon, so. Okay, so I'm gonna take everything out of their noisy bags and then come back and talk to you guys. Okay, so the first thing I wanna get out of the way is this huge package I got in the mail from bombada.com, bombadabags.com. And they sent me, I thought they were only gonna send me one bag, but in reality, they sent me three um, computer case bags. I've been checking them out for a while. I actually saw their bags online. Some, I think it was on Instagram. I don't know how I ended up on the link. Um, and I was looking for a computer bag for the kiddo because she got a you know nice new laptop for school. And I needed something for her, but I was like feeling some type of way with all these cheapy feeling bags being like 35, 40, even 50 to $60. No. So I was really, really happy and more than grateful that the company sent me not one, but three bags. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what they sent me. So they sent me three duster bags, which I think is great, especially when you're storing them and not putting them to use. And with that, they sent me three gray shoulder straps, which I think it's awesome. I actually like the color. I'm all about gray guys. Bombada also sent me this really cute key ring. It's actually of one of their Bombada bags, but it has like I don't know, it's almost crystallized and it's black. I think that is so cute. So I'm gonna show you guys the bags. The first one I got was the Bombada 11 inch. This is the Micro Bombada and it's this bad boy right here. And it is so pretty. This is actually in a, I don't know if it's aqua. And this is for the tablet. I actually cannot wait. I'm actually gonna use this. This is perfect for travel. I'm going to IMATS in a couple weeks, so this will be perfect for when I bring my tablets. I can also store like some makeup brushes and palettes in this. I know it's not for makeup, but a girl like me can make something happen. So this is actually really, really great. It opens up like that. You can put the tablet right there or put it in one of the sleeves right here. I love the durability of this. I guess these were designed in Italy and I feel like this is like, I don't know, this feels really, really good. Very sturdy, very worth the price, especially with all the pricing of all these like random laptop cases. I went to Best Buy, I checked out Amazon. I was just not happy. So I'm glad that now I finally found something. So that's the 11 inch micro. And they also sent me the Medio Bombada. And this one is 13 inches. So this is for smaller laptops. I'm just gonna show you guys <laughs> this is really pretty i love the white with the gray the handles are sturdy it feels sturdy the zippers are nice it's not like cheap zippers they i mean this feels great i'm like excited about these so this is great for travel so that's the 13 inch so you can fit the laptop here or the tablet whatever it is that you have I think that's awesome. The website does have some great designs. Um, the colors are really great and versatile. You can go anywhere from black to white to yellow. Um, this one is the, let me get the tag out. This one is the classic Bombada, 15.4 inches. So this one will fit the teenager's uh, laptop perfectly and yes. And hers actually comes with another um, shoulder strap and another baggie. I personally love them. I'm like super excited and shocked and super grateful that they sent me not one but three of them to show to you guys. I really am loving the 11 inch and the 15 inch because I like smaller. Um, I have smaller items. Um, my daughter has a bigger laptop so the 15 inch is perfect for her. So I'm super excited for that. So I'm gonna leave the website down below. It's bombadabags.com. They have a great array. I already have friends that have gone and checked it out and they're like, Oh my God, I can use this for work. This is so great. I love the pockets in it. Amazing. I am very impressed. So now on to beauty. So the first thing I picked up was the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold mask. And I've been eyeballing this at Sephora and I got a sample of it. And it wasn't much of a sample because she just gave me like what was left of the jar, which wasn't much. So let me get this out. This smells not, it doesn't have a scent to it, but it's gold and it looks amazing. It leaves the skin radiant. 
I don't know. I love it so far so good. It says that it lifts and tightens and all that stuff, but I haven't put it to use that much to see a change or difference, but I do like the way that it makes my skin feel glowy and luminous and just refreshed. So I love this. On to makeup stuff. Some of the stuff I picked up at CVS and then the rest at Walmart. So I'm just gonna get to it. I picked up some Milani products. The first thing I picked up was the Milani Perfect and Conceal or Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Conceal. Concealer. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Clinique one, but I am glad that I picked this up. I picked it up in the shade 03 Light Beige. I swatched some at the store because there was two that were open and one of them was this shade. I get so lucky with that stuff. So I actually opened it up without like pumping it out because it was already a mess and saw that, you know, it was my shade. It looked more like my shade. It does not oxidize on myself from what I've noticed. I've, I'm not wearing it today. I'm actually wearing the um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I just got a sample of that and I am really liking the way it looks on my skin. And I think I tried the shade 6 Medium. And I think it's a perfect match. But anyway, um, I was going to wear this, but then I got the little sampler in the mail and I was like, uh, I got to work today. So why not put it on, put it to use? So this is awesome. It's supposed to be lightweight, oil-free formula, long wearing, water resistant and sweat proof. This is great. So this is a medium to full coverage and I have used it heavy handed and light handed. I prefer using a small amount, blending it in and then pushing it in with my beauty blender, which is the technique I use for pretty much myself and anyone else I put makeup on. And I absolutely love this. I use it right under the eyes, not too much under the eyes because it can get a little cakey. I do use powder to set it though because I feel like it just doesn't set right away. But once it sets, it wears on the skin beautifully. You could just add some dewiness by spraying your skin with fix plus whatever it is that you need to if you want the dewy look but it does give you like a natural matte finish so i really do like this i'm so glad milani came out with a foundation that does not come in a compact and it comes with a pump which is amazeballs so i got that i also went because they this was at cvs they went and had their buy one get one half off so i returned this palette originally i know i did a first impressions on it and as beautiful as this palette was i was so turned off by the one shade that I would use the most, which would have been this bad boy right here. So I haven't swatched it yet. I figured I probably got a bad batch because I have seen so many other YouTubers and so many other people swatch it and it comes out looking good. So here goes, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. It feels more buttery than the other one. Nothing nothing i i don't i don't i don't get it i literally just went like this and it came right off my hands okay i mean i don't know what to say this shade i'm like rubbing on it and it's looking really cakey and i'm gonna swatch it for you guys and it's it's actually chunky you guys can see the chunk right there wait wait don't move away from me right there I don't know. I'm not impressed. All right, let's try this one right here. This shade right here was the other one that was a little disappointing, but I could deal with it. This one feels different. All right, this one, not the best, very powdery, but it's it's coming out with more pigment than the original one. That I, I think this shade right here is a complete dud, and this one, it just leaves something to be you know, but all the rest of the shades are amazing. I got it for half off. I'm just going to keep it. Um, even though it's probably not going to be a palette that I reach for, but I love these three, these actually four shades right here are like the best, the best blendable shade. So I don't know why I returned it. I just was so overwhelmed. I was so overwhelmed with the fact that just that one big shadow just didn't even work. It didn't even work as a highlight. And I tried it as a highlight and then I finally was like, no, it's too glittery for nothing. It falls on the face. It does nothing for me. So I took it back and I'll keep this one. Why not? I guess I went to a different Walmart and they had crazy stuff. They had stuff I've never seen before. They had a Walmart exclusive and everything. So first things first, I picked this e.l.f. brush up. It's got hair on it. I used it today for the first time. This is their blending brush. I used it today to kind of contour and bronze up the skin. 
This brush is amazing. As you can see, it's wide and it's got a pinch ferrule, so it makes the bristles kind of pinch together and make it very thin. It is perfect for contouring and blending, and that's exactly what I used it for, was for contouring, and I couldn't be any happier. I even did the little sides of my nose with the remaining product. So I found other brushes. Other brushes that I was already planning on getting at IMAT, but because they were there in my face, I could not say no. So I picked up three of the Royal and Lanlickel brushes. These bad boys right here. These bad boys right here, amazing. This brush, listen, listen. I'm telling you guys this right now. This is Royal and Lanlickel. This is the Mora line. This is super, super soft. I, oh my God. This is so soft, it's ridiculously cheap for what it is. I think these were like $8 for the brushes, which are not far from $6 for this brush, $6 for, um, a, or $3 for a brush at, at e.l.f. These are Royal and Land Nickel. These are pro grade brushes, okay? Granted, it's not something you would typically see in a makeup artist kit, or not, because I know a few makeup artists, very highly known makeup artists, that use these and love them. And I was so intrigued to get these anyway, because I just knew that they were good quality. I'm so happy I found these. So anyway, I picked up the BMD 100. This is their powder brush. I also picked up the buff and blend brush. This one's the BMD 101. And this has, um, it's actually really good. These are all ridiculously soft. Like they're all synthetic fibers. So it holds, it holds, it doesn't soak up any product. It holds product well. This will be great. I wanted to use it as a blush brush or as a setting brush. And the last one I got was the contour one. And this one I got to set under the eyes or to highlight. These brushes I love to highlight. Um, it would be great for contouring, perfect. Especially if you're buffing out a cream. I feel like this is dense enough that'll help you buff out that cream. But it's also perfect for like right under the eyes or to highlight, so. I actually love this one. This one's the BMD 120 contour brush. So I got some in my collection. They're at Walmart, no less. So I'm super, super excited. So go on, snatch you one up at least. Go on, girl, go on, get the brush, get them. So from Walmart, I also picked up two of these Tresemme Thermal Creations. This is like the heat protectant. I don't know, it's a leave-in spray. I was using my HSI one that I finally ran out of. I'm gonna have a huge empties video for you guys coming soon, hopefully like by the end of April, but it's crazy. It's a lot of crap. But anyway, um, I picked two of these up. This is amazing, it smells good and it works great on um, hair that gets flat ironed and curled quite a bit lately. So apparently Walmart has some exclusive to Walmart products from Wet n Wild and it's these palettes right here. It is the All Natural or Naturel palettes and yes. I have this one on my eyes today. This one is called the Nude Awakening. The name is spectacular and it's this palette right here and it's got some great colors to it. I actually have which colors do I have? I have this one, which is chalky. It's the second one down. It's chalky, but if you mix it with MAC Fix Plus, you can really get something out of it. I have it on the inner corner of my eye. So brought in a mix of these two on the center part of the eye as well. So it's these two right here. This one's a little chalky as well, but it blends really nicely onto the eyes. So that's those two right there. And I have those on the center part of the eye. On the outer V, I have this brownish gray shade right here. It's gorgeous. This matte is disgustingly good. Like, don't mind that swatch. Like, it's beautiful and it blends amazingly. I have it under my lash line as well and just kind of cutting into that crease a little bit. That's all I have. This is not a wham bam thank you ma'am palette. It's very simplistic, very beautiful, and you can make it work. This black is the only one I haven't swatched. Whoa. Whoa. That's one pigmented black shade. You definitely can blend it out. That's the good thing about some wet and wild shadows is that they blend out beautifully. That's pretty pigmented for a like $4 palette. This one is called Bare Necessities. 
And this is a beautiful one as well. I haven't even swatched this one. I really just reached for that purple one. And that's it right there. It's got some beautiful, simplistic shades, some very neutral shades, um, a golden color right there, some bronzier golds, a pink, another like champagne pink, and a, a white. It's got a nice matte brown. Let's swatch that one. That's a really nice, that's a really nice matte brown right there. It's almost like a plum, but cool tone brown. That is really pretty. This look, I'm gonna swatch this one because this color looks very similar to a color in the Bon Bons palette from Too Faced. It's a little gritty. That's the color right there. Ooh, that's beautiful. It comes off almost gray steel. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Let me swatch, I have the Bon Bons palette right here. And it's this shade that it reminded me of. This is Earl Grey. So I'm just gonna swatch a little bit of it. it smells so good. And I'm gonna swatch next to it. Do so you guys see? Ooh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is more of a blue tone, like a cool tone. And this is, even though it's it's gray toned and very blue on the eye, it has more of just a gray brown tone and this is more cool toned blue. So this is the Wet n Wild and this is Earl Grey from the Too Faced um, Bon Bons palette. They're actually not that um, far apart. It has also a black shimmery shade. This one right here is just a black shimmer. It's got some like, it's like blue specks of glitter. And that's how it swatches. I'm just gonna, mm. Okay, that's pretty. That's very pretty. I mean, you can see the glitter in it, but it's not overpowering. I'm gonna swatch some of these uh, pretty shades right here. So let's go ahead and swatch this champagne shade right here. I love Oh, I like the feeling of this. It doesn't feel gritty. That's it right there. Yes! Okay, let's swatch the one right next to it, that gold one. It comes off very bronze. That is so cool. And then I'm gonna swatch, let's swatch this gold one. These feel better. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, mm. I'm gonna use this one today. Oh my goodness, that's it right there. Guys, if you're gonna go for one, go for the Bare Necessities. This one has gorgeous colors. These look very, un these are underestimated shades right there. Then you get pigmentation like that and you start to wonder like, mm, looks can be deceiving. Okay, I'm gonna swatch more. I'm gonna swatch these first two and that third one. Just pretty much swatch the whole palette. Ooh, wait, let's swatch this one. Ooh, buttery, 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 cool toned, Transition shade. Right there. This is messy swatched, okay? That is a beautiful transition shade. It's a swatching. I'm gonna swatch this golden one right here. These feel good. These do not feel gritty like the other one at all. All right, so that's more of a golden color. And then I'm gonna go to this, this color right here. This one does not feel gritty either, like the second one in the palette. It's actually very glittery, but very satin like that's pretty and then i'm gonna go ahead and do this first one this one feels a little bit more chalkier kind of clumps up a little bit but it's not as bad that this one's a little powdery that first one the first one in the palette this bad boy right here it's a little powdery, but you can make it work. Okay, so that's it for drugstore. I went to Ulta yesterday with the hubby and um, needless to say, one of us came out happy. That was me. The first thing I picked up was from Rimmel and this is actually the 003 Golden Bronze Sculpting Palette. And I saw two of them. I guess there's three, duh, there's 003. And this was the one that appealed to me because of the contour shade was actually, well, one, it was darker, so I was a little intimidated. Um, but two, the other one, I think it was number two. I'm not sure if it was number one, number two. The contour shade or the bronze shade had nothing but glitter on it. So that's this shade right here. 
it's very deep but i do have it today to contour i used it with this brush right here not too warm it's like a neutral shade so i think that's great the next one was a highlight shade which left something to be desired as i'm rubbing it it's kind of clumping up in the center i don't know if it just does that or what i don't like the way it does that so that's it right there so it's just clumping onto my skin my finger and it's barely transferring it on the skin so i tried it yesterday just to highlight because i was like ooh, champagne -y highlight who doesn't like right now i'm scratching it because what it's doing i don't know i don't like what it's doing so anyway i'm putting it on the skin and it's all right but it's nothing spectacular i literally just scratched the crap out of it because um it just started kind of balling up in itself okay and this i have on the cheeks it's so pretty, this color right here. I have it on my cheeks very subtly and it gave me that beautiful shine. It's really, really pretty. It kind of reminds me of Orgasm from NARS. I got better use out of the contour shade and the blush than I did the highlight. The highlight was, to be honest, it's quite useless for me. And I love highlights. I just don't like this highlight. So the next thing I picked up was another Makeup Revolution highlight. This one's actually the Shimmer Brick Radiant. I have it on today. Look at that highlight though. Let's take a moment. It's beautiful. This is it right there. It reminds me of the Shimmer Bricks from um, Bobbi Brown and from Physicians Formula. This is absolutely gorgeous. You just mix them together and you get this gorgeous gold. That's right there. It just gives you this beautiful sheen. I know from my last, was it my second haul that I did recently? I thought I picked up the NYX lip lingeries, but I picked up the other ones. I don't even know what they're called. But anyway, I picked up two of the lip lingeries. One of them is in the color Honeymoon, which is gorgeous. Now, my one gripe with this is the applicator. Like, I don't like the applicator at all. I wish it was a doe foot applicator. Anyway, this is Honeymoon. It's a cool tone brown shade. It doesn't have a scent, if any. I mean, it has a liquid lipstick scent. To it if you guys know what that scent is um, and it's actually beautiful word of advice I've seen some people's gripes with it it is drying this is one of the more drying formulas that I have in my collection um, these are definitely something that you would need to put a balm under before and after applying these like when you go to take them off you really need to put on some balm because they are drying on the lips the formula is amazing it's beautiful um, I personally was fine with one layer of this color and it was thin and it was beautiful But I can feel the, the drying effects that people were talking about, but it's a liquid lipstick So you kind of have to expect that but anyway, I do recommend applying a Moisturizer before on the lips. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing there um, And and then you know just to help nourish the lips so you don't feel so bad when you take them off But anyway, um, the other color I got was Bedtime Fleur and this one I haven't worn yet this one doesn't have a scent either. And again, the applicator is just like, it's stiff. Like it's really stiff. It doesn't bend much. This formula is very moussey. Um, so once it dries, it dries really good. This is like a perfect pinky nude. Um, so I know that it will be flattering on my skin because it's kind of the nudes that I go for, the pinky nudes and just like the very vampy looking cool nudes. So I just picked up two for my collection. I didn't feel like going overboard because again, I'm going to IMATS and I'm gonna go ham over there. So yes, I finally got my hands on the Naked Skin Concealer. This is the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer and this is in the shade Light Neutral. It's sold out everywhere. So I was lucky enough yesterday, the girl was just going through some boxes and she found me Light Neutral. I have it under my eyes today and my one gripe with this is the fact that I did not play into the hype and buy this sooner. I don't know what to say about this concealer. I have, I finally got my hands on the NARS Creamy Concealer and I feel like under my eyes, because I have dry skin and I, I mean, I clearly have wrinkles under my eyes. I mean, I have big cow eyes so that tends to happen and i ain't young no more so whatever so it's super drying on the under the eyes it's a beautiful concealer nonetheless but for me i feel like i have to use very little of the nars radiant creamy concealer 
this feels so good under the eyes. I had no creasing whatsoever. Like my concealer creases within seconds of me putting it on before I even get to powder, it's already creasing. So I always have to go back in with my beauty blender sponge or my brush and pack it back in and then throw on some powder once I have it situated so that it can set. I cannot tell you how wonderful this feels on the skin and it's not cakey. I mean, I powdered up on there. Like I have, my face is cakier to me than my under eyes, which is great because I've been having nothing but dry under eye issues for the last like two, three months. And I've just been tweaking my formulation and things that I do differently, just my, my technique differently. So light neutral boo. Light neutral, this is this is my new, ooh. I'm just mad that it's a little pricey, but this is something that I wear on my skin for over eight hours. So why would I not want to invest in something that is, you know, a little bit pricier? Ah, yeah, I'm in love. Like really in love. So last but not least, I picked up the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. Why did I pick it up? I really want to get the peaches one, but why not start collecting since I seem to be doing that a lot lately. So this is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. This is what it looks like. It's their traditional tin style um, palettes. I've never owned one of these palettes. It's got the magnet closure and it smells, I think the, <laughs> I feel like the palette still smells like cocoa, but there's one or two shades in here that smell like peanut buttery-ish something. I don't care for peanut butter scents. I know, <gasps> blasphemy, whatever. I rather eat it than smell it if you catch my drift. <laughs> Sounds gross. Um, <laughs> story of my life. <laughs> so this is the palette right here. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's very beautiful, very warm tone. Of course, I'm gonna, I haven't even de-virginized this yet, guys. Anyway, I'll swatch this purple one because I'm sure that's why a lot of people want this. I wasn't that impressed with this one, but it's so pretty. It is so pretty. It's very iridescent. It comes off way lighter. I'm sure with some MAC Fix Plus or with a different brush, I can probably get a nice effect on it. Um, and let's do jamming. All right, wait a minute. I feel like the jelly one smells like peanut butter and jelly. I think jammin' smells like jam. This is gorgeous right there. I think this smells like cocoa. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's nuts about you. That's actually a gorgeous shade. I'm doing some sloppy swatches. But anyway, this is the palette right here. It comes with a mirror and it comes with like a little lookbook that you can, you know, do eye looks with. So three steps, three looks, three minutes. I'm actually thinking maybe if you guys want to see a tutorial on this, I'll do like my first look on camera with it. I don't know. That's the palette. I picked that up. Very excited. And with that, I got a free gift. I got the Too Faced Pretty Girl Secrets and it comes with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It comes with a little baby version of one of my favorite primers, which is the Hangover Face Primer. It has, it's infused with coconut water. I have that bad boy right here by my side. It's one of my favorite primers. Um, it, it's alongside my Nivea skin for men. And it comes with a little baby blush right here. And this one is called Love Hangover. This is one of their Love Flush blushes. And it's so freaking cute. The packaging on it is kind of, the packaging on these is kind of cheesy, but if, I mean, that's what the brand stands for. They want something really pretty and dainty and cute. That's the blush right there. It's more pigments than some of the shadows I've used today. So anyway, anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I am super excited. Hopefully this is my last haul until April when I go to IMAX. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it for my uh, haul video, my Ulta haul video. Um, I hope you guys like it. Please thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys, bye.